up showers and an occasional thunderstorm which has been developing within this southwesterly flow. We have had a bit of a dry period Now that will change later on as this complex of storms will be moving our way now and quickly moving through later on this evening. We're trying to get a rough idea of the precise timing of when this leading edge will arrive and kind of getting a rough estimate of the line moving about 40 miles an hour. Here's kind of a rough breakdown about 730 moving toward the Baton Rouge area starting to move into our viewing area Hammond just before 830 and then Mandeville around 930 and then not too long after that around Metro New Orleans. So we should all be in some of the heavier rainfall uh, before 10 o'clock tonight and then hopefully not long after that. This is a fast moving line 11 to maybe at the latest midnight. The majority of the heavier rainfall will already be gone and that's not to say we may be completely done with the rain because we do have some showers kind of on the back edge of this that may continue into the latter part of the night, but it really be along and just ahead of this line where we're going to have the greatest threat for the flooding rain and as well as the strongest of those winds. Again, timing wise by about 930 or so North Shore and South Shore should be well in before 11. Most of that already moving out off the coast, but again, a few lingering showers kind of behind are still possible even later into the night. So again, kind of a rough idea of the timing. I think through about seven to eight until about 11 to midnight, the bulk of our viewing area will be getting in on some of the heaviest of the weather. Now, as far as severe weather goes, the primary threat look to be strong straight line winds. Cannot rule out an isolated tornado kind of within that almost squall or excuse me, uh, within that bow echo, you might get some brief rotation, but the main threat will be the strong winds as well as even some hail. Flooding risk is still there, but if these storms are moving at a decent clip, while they will be heavy, I don't think we're going to be seeing the widespread flooding issues that we could have potentially seen had this been a much slower moving complex of storms. Today's side, though, at least I'm always looking for that silver lining clouds and rainfall. We stayed mild. 84 was our high and that was at 1041 this morning and then our low was at 73 degrees and that was at 230 in the afternoon. So at least the clouds and rainfall have kept us a bit milder. 75 degrees right now. That humidity is back. We had that drier air with us through our Mother's Day weekend and very pleasant, but the mugginess has returned. Turn. Complex of storms moving our way, so at least we've got a break now. We're in the 70s outside and winds light out of the southeast or south, and that'll continue through the night tonight. This is all thanks to an upper low. You can clearly see that spin here that's moving out of Kansas into Missouri. As this little shortwave feature moves toward the northeast, we're going to see the upper axis sweep on through and actually help to clear us out. Once these storms are gone by about midnight, one may still have a few lingering showers into the early, early morning hours, but around day break rain is gone and we should see clearing of our skies to where the rest of the day on Tuesday looking very nice. This is all kind of riding along the system, which will be gone by early tomorrow morning. We're actually going to see kind of a weak front move in late Tuesday into Wednesday, bringing with it some less humid air. So we do have some nicer weather on the way, but with less humid air Tuesday into Wednesday, dry air warms more efficiently. So maybe the dew points come down a bit, but our heat is back upper 80s to near 90 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday. Then a second upper disturbance will bring in our rain chances again Thursday into Friday. Lower end threat for some street flooding. Not really certain about our severe weather. It also looks like rain coverage will be much less by the end of the week. A few lingering showers into this weekend, at least Saturday, and then otherwise the weekend mostly dry but hot and the heat will continue into early next week.